Hi everybody. Today I'm here with Millie. We're gonna do uh, inside today because there is um, something in my garden that I don't want to disturb. We have a robin family and we saw their nest back on Earth Day, but the baby is finally big enough to be leaving the nest. So I thought for today we would read this book, A Nest Full of Eggs. Millie, you're going to stay on my shoulder because we don't want you to pester your brother. There's Spencer right there. You want to say hi, Spence? Yeah, she's coming. You might want to uh, vacate the premises. You want to say hi to the boys and girls? Say hello. Millie, leave him alone. So we've got A Nest Full of Eggs by... Uh, Priscilla Bells Jenkins and illustrated by Lizzie Rockwell. A nest full of eggs. And this is the robin, just like we have in our garden. Listen. Cheer up, cheer up, cheer up. That is the song of a robin. It must be spring. Up in a tree, outside my window, a pair of American robins is very busy. They are gathering dry weeds and twigs. They work carefully, but quickly. It is almost time. The female weaves the weeds and twigs together with bits of mud that dry like glue. She adds more mud, pressing with her breast into a cup shape. Then she lines the bottom of the cup with a bed of soft grasses. There, the nest is safe and strong and snug. Now it is ready. Over the next few days, the female robin lays four beautiful blue eggs in the nest. She is sitting on the nest now, keeping the eggs warm. Her mate is close by. He sings loudly, warning other robins to stay away. Inside each egg is a tiny new life. It is growing very fast. The yellow is its liquid food. The clear albumen, which we call the white of an egg, is its watery cushion. Day after day, the mother robin sits on the eggs, patiently waiting. Here she is sitting on those eggs. After three days, the life begins to look like a head, a backbone, a heart, and eyes. The heart is already beating. After five days, a beak, two wings, two legs, and a tail are taking shape. It's beginning to look like a baby bird in there. After about eight days, the baby robin is completely formed right down to its toes. And by the twelfth day, the robin has grown so big, it is squeezed inside the egg. It has used up all its food and space. It only takes a week. Listen. Peep, 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 peep. A tiny beak is breaking through the eggshell. The eggs are hatching. Crack. Out rolls a baby robin. Soon, there are four wob wobbly little robins in the nest. Their parents feed them worms, berries, seeds, and insects. But the hungry nestlings are always peeping and squawking for more food. We're going to watch them do that in real life in a minute. In a few days, the baby robins open their eyes. Soft, warm down feathers begin to appear on their bodies. Then, bigger feathers grow and cover the down. They keep the robins dry and give them color and shape. 
about 14 days after hatching, the robins have their wing and tail feathers. These are their flight feathers, the feathers they will use to fly. Feathers are light, but very strong. They are what make birds so different from all other creatures on earth. Only birds have feathers. Feathers come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. So here we've got all different kinds of bird feathers. Right, we have a feather collection in the STEM lab. All different ones. Robins, like all birds, take good care of their feathers. They comb them and straighten them with their beaks. And we're going to see our robin doing that too. And they clean them by taking baths in water and dust. Now the young robins are ready to leave the nest, but they are not good flyers yet. They are still learning. For the next few weeks, their parents stay close to them and bring them food. But soon, the robins are ready to fly and hunt on their own. Now they can take care of themselves. Next spring, they will find mates and have nests and families of their own. Birds live all over the world. There are about 9,000 different kinds. Each kind of bird makes a nest in its own special way. Birds usually hide their nests where they blend in with nature's colors, right? So they use camouflage. A bird's nest can be a gathering of leaves on the forest floor, a hole in a tree, or a woven pouch, right? A nest can be a scrape of rock, a scrape on a rocky cliff, a giant heap of branches, a floating platform, a woven cup of plants and spider silk, a cup of mud, a scooped out hollow in the sand, or even an old shoe. Right, so depending on the kind of bird and where it lives, its nest is going to be different. You can help robins build their nests. In the springtime, leave some grass clippings and bits of yarn and string in your yard. Look for robins to come and pick them up. Watch where they go. You may be able to find their nest. <coughs> Excuse me. Help the robins feel safe by not going too close to the nest or touching it. See if you can tell when the eggs have hatched. And remember back in April, we made our nest builders with yarn and some scrap paper and stuff like that, some string. So we'll see. As summer ends in late September, the days grow shorter, the robins fly south or migrate. They know it is time to leave. Winter is coming. But the robins always return. Listen, cheer up, cheer up, cheer up. Spring is here again. So I'm going to play a video for you next um, of all of the growth that our robins have been doing. And um, it's coming up and you'll watch, you'll see the robin build its nest and then we'll watch them feeding, but we don't want to get too close. So I've been um, setting up the camera and watching them through my kitchen window. Enjoy. Can you see her? See her? She's making her nest.
lot of people think birds live in nests, but the interesting thing is, is that the nest is just really for the babies. Um, the mother bird builds the nest as a place to lay her eggs and keep them warm and incubate them, and they hatch. But you can kind of think of the nest not as their bird's house, but more like their, um, like their nursery school or their crib or their cradle. Um, the parents don't actually live in and sleep in the nests unless there's babies in the nest to take care of. Grown-up birds will just spend the night sleeping on a tree branch or in a bush or a shrub. When baby birds are born, they're born with little fluffy white feathers called down, and um, those are just to keep them warm. They don't help them fly. So this little bird is going to start to get rid of those fluffy white feathers, and his new grown-up feathers are going to grow in. So that's what he's doing now. He Insectivores. That means they eat bugs. can see those fluffy baby feathers are starting to fall out and it's starting to get its uh, grown-up flight feathers and you'll see that it's going to sort of brush them and comb them out with its beak so that it can get ready to fly. practicing flapping those wings <gasps> oh my think he's gonna do it so with robins both parents take turns and take part in taking care of the babies as the baby gets older um, mom may lay another egg or a few more eggs and this baby will go and mostly hang out with dad while mom um, incubates some more brothers and sisters. So they really work as a, as a good team taking care of their family. And it will be dad's job mostly to teach the babies how to hunt and how to stay safe. This had me cracking up. The baby wants to leave the nest and mom knows that he is not strong enough yet. So what does she do? She sits on him and keeps him so that he can't leave the nest. She says, I don't think you're ready yet today.
So today might be the day. The baby looks big and strong, and he looks like he's ready, and the parents are perched around the yard where they can keep an eye on him, but they know he's ready to take his first steps out of the nest. We'll have to see what happens. So he's been there for a while and you can see mom comes back from behind and will start to gently nudge him. She knows he's ready. So you'll see her head sort of peek, poke through and sort of nudge his bottom. So he didn't fly far, but he did fly. He's up there, and you can see mom flies away, and she's gonna try to encourage him from someplace else in the yard. But I think somebody else has plans. Let's see what happens. I think this squirrel got tired of waiting. So he comes up the tree, and he's gonna chase that robin away. And then watch, the dad's gonna come and chase the squirrel away. Happens so fast. Dad comes back to see if it's safe to return. and mom comes back to repair the nest. I wonder if she will lay another egg. Still early in the summer, maybe we'll get more.